I'm going to be doing the numbers on a real-life bird deal. I'm going to show my man, Polly how he can make 32% on his money. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and today I'm working with one of my favorite types of clients, man, a blue-collar motherfucker. My guy, Paulie, dude, you've been a mechanic for uh, almost 30 years now, dude. I love that. I am a blue-collar guy. I come from a blue-collar background, okay? My dad and my grandpappy, truck drivers, right? So long lineage of blue collarness in my family so i love to see blue collar dudes like you getting into real estate because you do not need to be a rich guy to get into real estate you do not need to have some fancy schmancy pedigree right you guys hear me talk you see what i do you see me dress right i'm a blue collar all the way and this business man it, it can take blue collar guys like me hopefully like you, Paulie, and turn us into very wealthy people, right? That's why I love it, brother. And how we're going to do that for you today, my man. This property right here, I think this is going to be exactly what you ordered. 411 11th Street, Illyria, 44035. This is a stale listing. That's why I picked it for you. Been on the market 73 days priced at 67 G's. We're going to take the fact that it's been on the market at 73 days and get this thing for less than that $67,000 price point because I do not want you to pay anywhere near $67,000 because I don't think it's worth it because it's just a, it's a beat up dog, right? Like <clears throat> you get properties like this. I feel like investors are some of the only people interested in these kind of properties. Now, if you're not familiar with Illyria specifically, Paulie, let me let you know, bro. This is a blue-collar neighborhood, okay? This is just a C-class, through-and-through neighborhood. I'm going to set you up on a renovation uh, plan of attack here, and I want to put a Section 8 tenant in there. Now, blue-collar neighborhoods, C-class neighborhoods, neighborhoods like this, I mean, I you know, we split it, right? Sometimes we do cash-paying tenants. Sometimes we do Section 8 tenants. If we go anything lower than C, I got you got to do section 8 guys it's it's insanity not to do section 8 the risks are too high i like doing section 8 in properties like this though because i find we have vacancies the shortest tenancy stays the longest and we get the max rent plus we alleviate those uh eviction risks when people do lose their job or they don't pay cuz look guys a c class tenant I mean, C-class tenants, it's like the biggest thing in our portfolio. The majority of the Holton Weiss portfolio, the properties that I own, okay? The majority of them are C-class. I say C-class is the best of both worlds, right? You get the best of the D-class and the B-class. You kind of combine it. But there's still risks, okay? There's still risks with that. Biggest one is non-payment of rent. These are folks that live paycheck to paycheck. So like one major issue in their life, right? Like a car crash or a job loss. They don't have a lot of savings typically. So like one, you know, catastrophic fucking coronavirus, right? <laughs> one major thing that disrupts their life, right? That can lead them to not having rent income for you anymore, right? So I do like to go Section 8. So this kitchen, to get the max Section 8 rent, I want to do a little work to this kitchen. I actually like these cabinets, like this up top here, okay, how there's like the, you could tell it's like super dated with like the little, you know, wavy things. Like we'll probably box that off, but as far as the color, it's white, it's nice. So you could actually make this look like a very modern kitchen with fairly minimal pricing, okay? So you probably refinish these cabinets, get fresh paint, you know, round, you know, square that off, make it look more modern, rip out this old crummy countertop, rip out the sink, get yourself a nice stone countertop uh, with an undermount sink, remove the dishwasher, okay? Dishwashers do not make us money in C-class investments. I know, you know, if there's some tennis out there that might be watching, like, fuck, James, what the hell, dude? I, I like dishwashers, look. This is a business, okay? You know, if McDonald's, right? 
if they're selling you a hamburger at a dollar, that means they, you know, can make it for less than a dollar, right? McDonald's ain't going to sell you a burger for a dollar if it costs them two dollars to make that burger. I've had thousands and thousands of tenants. I will tell you, over the long haul, the averages, the, the money, right? If I look at the data, it tells me that providing a dishwasher to a C-class tenant does not give you, the investor, any more profit. So if it's not making you money, get it out of there, right? So we're going to do all that to modernize this kitchen, throw in some stainless steel appliances, okay? That's what we're going to do. And we're going to carry a nice neutral tone throughout the home. Obviously, we got nice refinished hardwoods, okay? Those are, well... They're going to be nice and refinished. There's nice hardwoods here. I would say we'll probably, you know, darken up the stain, right, to cover up any issues. And there will be nice refinished hardwoods. I kind of like this wood. Uh, I'm going to leave that up to the construction crew if they're going to paint that white or leave it that color. Sometimes, depending on how nice it is, John does leave it that color. So that'll be up to him. John is John Holton, by the way, the other owner of Holton Wise. As far as the walls go, we're going to see probably an agreeable gray. And then, you know, you ain't going to see stuff like this. Like, you know, you got to get that off the wall. So we got to patch that type of shit. Uh, you know, you'll fucking pull, you know, whatever the fuck's going on up there. You'll pull this shit off. Stuff like that, right? So it'll be, you know, all nice neutral colors. This carpet will be gone. The uh, wood floors you've seen throughout the rest of the house are going to be under there. So we'll refinish all that. All right. We'll get rid of, uh, you know, just like old dated stuff. And then you're going to spend some money over here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I've accounted for some issues here uh, in the budget. What I like to, to call that is the off fuck fund. <laughs> now, the off fuck fund is when you're doing a renovation and you set aside some money because you don't exactly know what's going on. What I appear, like what we appear to have here, I believe we are on the second floor because there's two baths in this home, all right? This appears to be like a two-piece bathroom, right, based on our photos. Like, we have the toilet here. That's great. You would assume there'd be, like, a sink here, but there's not. Um, that's the shower bar. Over on this side, we got the tub shower, but, like, there is no photo of the sink. So I don't really exactly know what's going on, but, like, I don't love this bathroom. It just it just looks totally goofy to me. So uh, there's going to be some money spent in that bathroom. I, I don't 100% know what's going on. Maybe it's just bad photos. I don't know. But it just it looks really weird to me. That toilet looks incredibly out of place. That bathroom seems to be out of place. So I'm sure my guys will, you know, set something up good. And then, you know, just this room here. Obviously just repaint, you know, get rid of these old nasty-looking uh, outlet covers. You know, the nice new stuff, right? Make the home look good. So if we do all that... All right, Paulie, what we'll be able to do, we'll be able to easily get you a Section 8 tenant paying a G, dude, a G every month, okay? Of that $1,000 a month, I anticipate $520 going out the door, right, for our normal expenses. We're still going to calculate for repairs and maintenance. I know we're doing like a full renovation for you here. But we're still going to calculate money towards repairs and maintenance because eventually that tenant's going to move out. We're going to have to do another turnover, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures, right? Things of that nature. We're going to end up with an NOI, average NOI of 480, okay? So that's 5760 As far as the price goes, I want to have you pick this up at $40,000, right? We're going to come in. We're going to come in strong. We're going to pay cash because I don't think a lot of people are looking at this house. It's been on the market a long time. It's it's very cheaply priced for the city, okay, and it's not moving because I don't think a lot of people want to do this work because all the, the work I told you about thus far, I think we're going to spend approximately $25,000 doing what I've described. Now, there are some other things uh, outside of that. Like I think that cosmetic reno should be – you know, 20 to 25 with the off fuck fund in there. I'm not, you know, give me a leeway of a couple grand one way or the other because, you know, again, I think that bathroom's goofy. I don't know. Maybe it's just really bad pictures. My team will have to let me know about that. But in addition to everything I've talked about, there's some things we don't necessarily know. We don't know the age of the roof. We don't know the age of the furnace. I do know there is a newer hot water tank, though, that was put in like five or six years ago. Um, we don't know the or I'm sorry, a newer air conditioning unit, rather, a newer air conditioning unit. We don't know the age of the hot water tank, right? So roof on this house, it's a big old house, right? So we're looking at like six or seven grand. 
for a new furnace, we're looking at about three, so that could be 10, and then we're looking at hot water tank, that's 11. Now, we are calculating in that number, right, those capital expenditures that we are saving $50 every month towards for those items. Do I believe that all three of those items are brand new today? No, absolutely not. I, I have no reason to believe they're all brand new. Do I believe they all need to be replaced tomorrow? No, I do not. Roofs, seven grand, like I said, should be about seven Gs. They last 30 years, right? You know, maybe we got 10 years left. I don't know. We'll find that out at the home inspection. Hot water tanks, they're cheaper. 15 years is how long they last. They cost a G. I assume we're probably somewhere in the middle of that life cycle. We'll find out at the inspection. Furnace, they last approximately 30 years as well. We're probably somewhere in the middle to the end of that life cycle. And again, they're three Gs, right? So I know we're going to spend at least... 25 will we spend a little bit more not exactly sure we'll find that out later and then of course if it turns out that there is some major issues with any of those things we could probably go back to the sellers to try to work them a little bit more if they're all you know relatively chugging along in the middle of their life cycle we don't need to worry about them just yet we let them ride until we actually have to replace them so if that's the case you could be all into this investment for $65,000 with all that nice cosmetic work and upgrades in the kitchens, fixing that funky bath, things of that nature. I think we'll be able to get it to price for a very modest increase, dude. I'm saying 75 grand. That's a very conservative estimate. Some people might try to tell you you can get it to a price for 100. I don't want to tell you we can get it to a price for 100 if we're not fixing you know furnaces and roofs and things of that nature necessarily if we put more money into those that'll probably raise the appraised price uh, but for now just based upon the twenty five thousand dollar budget i think we'll be able to get it to appraise for 65 g's if you do that the bank will give you back 56 and a quarter and you only spent 65 so you end up with only 8750 in the deal brother and that like i said at the top of the show would pencil out to a 32% cash on cash return. That, my man, is how blue collar guys like me have made our wealth in the real estate game. That is how blue collar guys like you can make your wealth in the real estate game. So, Paulie, if you like this plan, reply to this private link. Let us know. We'll write this offer. Now, we're trying to lowball these guys. I get that, brother. 67 is what they're asking. I only want you to pay 40, right? Here's the thing, dude. You're trying to do a bird deal, right? They're, you know, Cleveland's a great market. I get a lot of people from other more expensive markets. They come here to Cleveland because, you know, our prices are low. But don't think that, like, we just have all this equity sitting out there on trees, right? We got to put in a lot of offers. We got to get aggressive, and you got to go ahead and make lowball offers. Uh, I can't guarantee you they'll take that 40, but you know what? I think we got a good shot because it's been on the market. It's been stale. It's kind of an ugly house. I mean, the house doesn't really have anything going for it other than it's cheap, right? Like, I don't think anybody's really walking inside this house like, wow, I really love this house. I, you know, I can vision myself here. It's, it's not that nice, right? It's just cheap, but we're going to make it nice. And hey, man, if the sellers don't come down to a reasonable price for us, we'll just move on to the next property. And then we'll move on to the next property. And then we'll move on to the next. That's why you buy a multi property package from me right this is a numbers game guys it takes a lot of offers a lot of analysis to take down these solid deals now if y'all don't want to do a lot of analysis and you don't want to look at a lot of houses you don't want to write a lot of offers that's great feel free to pay 67 g's and we could be one and done to be boom boom easy right but if you guys are really trying to extract some serious value make some money do some bird deals make a 32 percent return there is going to be a lot of work involved i don't want you to think that it is necessarily going to be easy. Yes, Holton Wise TV makes real estate investing easy, but it's like us making the process easy for you. That doesn't mean it's just an easy job. Otherwise, dude, all, everybody would be super rich in real estate investing, and we know that's not practical. So, Paul, let me know what you want to do. If you don't think this deal makes sense for you, uh, give me your feedback, and on your next video, I will adjust accordingly, and we'll go a different route. Everybody else, if you're watching this show, just so you know, we sent this privately to Paulie probably a couple months ago, right? This was not on Holton Wise TV uh, when this deal was active, okay? It's a private link just for him. I don't want you guys snagging his deal. 
Now that it's available publicly on Holton Wise TV, that deal's already gone. It's already been sold. You can't bid on this property. If you want to work with me in this personal manner, one-on-one, -on -one, what you want to do, you want to go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, and click on the MLS Search Analysis Show, and you could order your packages. I recommend the big multi-property packages because, dude, if you guys want to make the serious money, okay, again, numbers game. we got to put out a lot of offers. we got to analyze a lot of properties. It's going to take time, right? So this develops a committed long-term relationship between you and myself. And then after the fact, we can handle the renovation, the property management, the insurance, the title work, or we can handle none of it. We're an a la carte service. It's up to you guys, however you want to handle it. That's all I've got for today's show. New viewers out there, if this is the first time you've ever tuned in to Holton Wise TV, do yourselves a favor and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact, combined with the high price-to-rent ratio, is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.